Yo, then get bridge hit on your right hand. What's up everybody, it's Fatty Mancy from Real Results Fitness and we got a special guest today, his name is Will Valle. What's up guys, I'm Will, I compete in the USAPL slash IPF. Will must have been so humble that he forgot to mention this to you guys, so let me mention it to you guys. Uh, he is an elite power lifter in the 93 kg weight class, about 202 pounds. So he competes in the USAPL, which is a tested powerlifting federation, and he has been uh, randomly tested from them. So as far as we all know, he's a natural athlete. I still second guess it sometimes. Um, but uh, so he's a natural athlete and uh, he's competed in big events such as uh, nationals and the Arnold Sports Festival. That's it. Let's go back to the video. Best total in comp is 1625 with a 622 squat, 369 bench and a 634 deadlift. <laughs> You guys might have seen Will in some videos in the past. Um, Will, why don't you just tell everybody how you got into lifting, like why you started lifting, kind of the story behind yourself. All right, so I first started lifting in 2010, right after I graduated high school. Um, I originally got into lifting because I was always the fat kid at school, and I always Feels. was fascinated with just the strength in general and I always, I've always just wanted to be strong and uh, yeah so I started lifting with one of my friends from high school who had the same ideas and he was, in, he was on the football team so he showed me what they would do but obviously it stopped working after a while and so I did my own research on programming online and then I found some YouTubers and then after a while I learned what worked best for me and just adjusted my training likewise. Yeah and uh, that's Kind of how I started getting into powerlifting a little bit. Um, you know, I've, I've lifted, I don't even know how many years now, but I've lifted for a while. And then um, I just kind of got tired of going in there and guessing what to do. So I started doing some of my own research online and I, you know, I kept on hearing about this powerlifting thing and what it is. So uh, I looked that up and I found uh, Lane Norton's uh, fat program. And uh, that's how I started doing powerlifting consistently and uh, that's how I personally got into powerlifting. Prior to that I was doing bodybuilding, um, following some programs here and there uh, online or in magazines uh, but that's how I got into powerlifting. So did you start with bodybuilding? Yeah well, I originally started with bodybuilding because like I said I was pretty fat and I didn't really I wasn't really aware of the sport of powerlifting before that and so I was I would just go in the gym and try to look Try to pretty much chase the pump. Okay. Yeah, pump chase. <laughs> um, Shout out but, to Chris Jones. Yeah. <laughs> you were doing bodybuilding. Were you following anything specific, um, or just kind of? I was doing the random. traditional bro split. Okay. Except I like to skip leg day. No legs. Yeah. For the first year, <laughs> I knew that was coming. For the first year, it was like arms. Shoulders and arms, chest and arms, and back. Yeah. <laughs> well, Will and I are gonna be discussing in the next couple of videos is powerlifting, bodybuilding, and how you could use both to train optimally as a natural athlete. Uh, so I know with, uh, with the internet and YouTube and Instagram and everything, uh, there was a period where we didn't technically see eye to eye on a lot of things um, as far as you know how to train and what to do. Uh, what would explain to me, um, how to use proper mechanics on certain lifts, uh, like the squat, <laughs> sticks out in my mind. Yeah. Uh, my squat has <laughs> changed dramatically. If I have an old clip, I'll put it up. Don't you let the late great veteran live. Well, now 
My son across the belly, Lose. I prove you lost already uh. The king is back, where my crown Ew. at? It will Real. rest in peace, let's do it niggas I Fuck with your soul like ether Real. Teach you the cut of me, Lord, I know it's a lie that we gon' be fine But mama, I'm tired of crying Just lie to me one more time Cause it's crunch time um, But I was always in the mentality of uh, Like, kinda just gotta, gotta be hardcore Like, grinders Like, if you're not, if you're not grinding on your squat Like, you don't have any heart um, But I come to find out that that's just uh, more apt for a lot of injuries along the way. Lots of ego. Yeah, lots of ego. Uh, even though you don't, I didn't think it was ego at the time. Um, so a lot of things like that, and then vice versa. Um, what was happening with you when, like, when you just went strictly powerless, so, like squat, squat bench dead? Powerlifters have a tendency to just be super specific with the three comp lifts: the squat, bench, and deadlift. Right. And Obviously, you're not hitting every single muscle group with doing those uh, three movements. And especially as beginners, it's very important to build a foundation. Like you see these really skinny kids, they're lifting like four or five pounds, but they weigh like what, like a buck thirty. Yeah, which and is then, impressive. Yeah. Don't get don't get us wrong. But it's just it's inevitable for them to run into injuries from imbalances and whatnot. And that's something that I've experienced more than I'd like <laughs> in the last two or three years and especially right now uh, recently re-injured my leg and my shoulder and uh, how, how old are you Will? just um, for the camera 24 24 years old yeah. okay so a few injuries but, at an early age yeah okay. so no one's invincible you got to do what will keep you healthy in the long yeah. run and take into consideration that bodybuilding and powerlifting are both marathons and not sprints as cliche as that sounds it's one of the true statements about the sports so I've implemented a lot more of bodybuilding stuff for my trouble areas that have always been prone to injury, like my upper back and just my adductors, my abductors, pretty much everything that you use to stabilize your body. So people think of stabilization as like people on blue suit balls, but yeah, the better, the more stability you have, the greater force output you'll be able to put into a lift and so neglecting those small muscles that get injured will make you less than the best athlete than you than you could be if you were to work on those trouble areas yeah there's there's a lot that goes into into both sports as far as if you again as far as if you want to uh, be optimal and uh, and be balanced like I'm, I'm a bit older than Will I'm 33 so for me uh, it's more about staying healthy uh, while staying fit and making some gains along the way. Uh, but uh, for me, like powerlifting took my physique to a whole other level. Uh, I remember comparing, hopefully I can find those pictures. I remember comparing uh, one year of like consistent powerlifting to the year prior uh, when I was fairly lean in both pictures. I remember showing Will, and he's like, "Whoa, was was that one uh, only last year?" And we were comparing the two side yeah. by side, and and uh, it was a pretty significant difference as far as um, uh, mass. Yeah, I would say. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, but it made it made a big difference, um, and it also, uh, to Will's point, me doing the main lifts helped me figure out what my weaknesses are.